Hey curl friends, I'm Bianca Renee and you're watching Bianca Renee today and today I thought I'd come on here and give you guys a little update on my pregnancy and I'm also going to deep condition at the same time. Sorry for my lack of videos recently, aside from being pregnant, I got sick, my nose is still a little stuffy if I sound a little nasally, but you know, we're gonna push through. I'm gonna give y'all a video anyways. So I'm currently fresh out the shower. I already shampooed and conditioned my hair, and now it's time to deep condition because you should be deep conditioning those curls once a week. So yesterday I finally cleaned up my beauty room, and I found a lot of products that I haven't tried yet. So we're gonna try some new things, including the main choice. This is the main choice green tea and carrot deep strengthening and restorative mass treatment. I have never tried this before. This is gonna be a first impression. Um, it's supposed to repair, restore damage, strengthen, fight shedding and breakage, adds moisture, hydration, improves manageability, and elasticity for all hair types. Interesting. Infused with biotin. I'm trying to smell this knowing my nose is stuffed up, but I'm kind of getting like an orange smell to it. But it's not very creamy for being a deep conditioner. It's pretty lightweight, so I can see why they say for all hair types. But let's give it a try and smooth this on here. Not bad. But anyways, let me give you guys a little update on my life. I'm now currently in my third trimester of being pregnant, quickly approaching the home stretch. I'm due February 1st, today is November something. <laughs> Thanksgiving is around the corner, so like, it's getting real, real fast. But let me show you what I know. You wanna see the bump, boop! There it is, real pregnant right now. <laughs> oh, isn't he cute? Now when I first got pregnant, I had all these expectations of I'm gonna post Mommy Mondays. Remember when I said that? Y'all ain't got one Mommy Monday yet. I was hoping to do like a first trimester video, then a second trimester, and like give you updates almost weekly on my pregnancy, but that just didn't happen. And now I'm in my seventh month of pregnancy, and this is your first update. So let me backtrack to my first trimester. Overall, I've had a very easy pregnancy. I haven't been nauseous at all. No morning sickness, so that's been great. People say that when you have a boy, you don't really get morning sickness, but if you have a girl, it's like horrible, but everybody's different. My mom had me and my sister and also never had morning sickness. So obviously every pregnancy is different. My only symptom my first trimester was that I was really tired. I would take a nap at 1 p.m. like on the dot. That took some getting used to. I'm not really one to take naps because I try to get a lot done each day and anybody got time to sleep in the middle of the day? I mean, at least I don't. So that was a, a struggle for me, <laughs> taking time to actually take a nap and get the rest that I needed. But then they say that you get your energy back second trimester. And for me, almost like the day of my second trimester, I got my energy back and I didn't have to nap anymore. So that was nice, because I was just so tired of feeling tired and sluggish, so that was good. Second trimester, I was expecting to have like all these pregnancy cravings, because in general, I, I crave things all the time, so I was ready for like some weird stuff, like pickles and ice cream status, but nope. No like specific cravings, I just knew what I wanted when I wanted it, but just like normal things that I've always eaten. I haven't had a craving for anything random. So, so far, pretty normal pregnancy. I'm just getting bigger, I'm eating more, um, still working out. My doctor's like annoyed with me because I'm such a boring <laughs> patient. She's like, you're having no problems, you have nothing I can prescribe for you. And I'm like, mm, nope, sorry. So now I'm gonna wash my hands so I can put on my face mask, but overall I think this mask it's interesting on how lightweight it is. I usually like my mask to be a little bit thicker because I feel like it's full of moisture, but because this is supposed to be for all hair types, I can see why it's a little bit more on like the wetter, creamier side. We'll see how it does. Okay, now I'm gonna put on my face because you always should try to double mask. If you're gonna sit someplace for 10, 15 minutes, you might as well have your face be looking as good as your hair. So I'm gonna use my Urban Skin RX Purifying 2-in-1 Pumpkin 
Pore Detox Mask and Scrub. If you follow me on Instagram, you've already seen me talk about this. I've used it at least two or three times now, and I love this mask. It's definitely perfect for all your fall vibes because it literally smells like pumpkin pie, and it just gets you in the Thanksgiving mood. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, make sure you follow me right now at Ms. Bianca Renee. This has salicylic acid in it. It's supposed to smooth, clarify, improve the appearance of pore size, and I just really like it. When it comes to my skincare, my skin has been pretty under control. I was so worried that my acne was gonna come back because I have very acne prone skin, and I know that when you get pregnant, you can just start breaking out again. So I was like, all right, if I had a bad acne before, like I already know it's about to come back with a vengeance. But fortunately, I'm still going to Mary Scott Skincare, and all the products that I'm using are pregnancy safe, so I haven't had to switch up my routine. And for the most part, my skin has been really good. I did get a little breakout like last week, so I have a little bit of scars here. But this side looks pretty good. But nothing like crazy. When it comes to skincare, I've heard that you shouldn't be using anything with salicylic acid in it. I've heard you shouldn't use anything with benzoyl peroxide. I've heard you shouldn't do high frequency. But my doctor said that it was okay for me to continue to do all those things. The products that I use from Mary Scott actually don't have salicylic acid in it or benzoyl peroxide only for my body scrub. So that wasn't a problem. And then for high frequency, she said that it only goes skin deep. Like she's like, I wish it was strong enough to go anywhere past your face, but it's not that strong to where it would affect the baby. So when it comes to my Mary Scott skincare products, those have all been fine for me to continue to use. Side note, this is one of the few non Mary Scott skincare products that I use on my skin. This mask, it just smells so good, so pumpkin pie Thanksgiving fall vibes. It kind of has like a warming sensation as you rub it in and has really small micro beads to like exfoliate, but nothing like too harsh where it's gonna like scratch up your skin. Now I'm gonna let this mask sit on my face for a good 15, 20 minutes as well as my hair. I'm putting on a shower cap and I'm gonna let this sit. Wow, what a beauty queen. Why do I come on camera like this? All right, washed everything off and I'm back. Let's continue to try some new products. So for my face, I have the Derma E Acne Rebalancing Cream, Active Salicylic Acid with Tea Tree Oil and Aloe Vera. This does have 0.53% salicylic acid. So if you are someone that's worried about using salicylic acid while pregnant, it's a very, 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 very small amount that isn't supposed to harm the baby. That's going off of what my doctors told me, what my esthetician said was all right. But hey, I'm just a YouTuber and a first time mom. So don't just go off of what I say. Please ask your own doctor for their advice. But I'm gonna give this a try. Mmm, it smells really good. It smells like a very expensive fancy spa, honestly. Rebalance your oily or acne prone complexion to clear skin with this acne reducing moisturizer. I mean, we use a moisturizer every day, so might as well be fighting acne at the same time. Very nice, creamy consistency. Ah, now I'm gonna let that sit. And for my styler today, it's another product that I've never used before, which is the Camille Rose Naturals Aloe Whipped Butter Gel, Aloe Vera and Macadamia Oil. It's supposed to nourish your dry and frizzy curls, moisturizing cream-based gel. Hmm, a cream-based gel. Two in one combo, I see. Told you, brand new, never been opened. I think I got this at BeautyCon and the guy who gave it to me was raving about it. So let's see how it is. Oh my goodness. My nose is stuffed up and I know this smells amazing. It smells like cake, like cupcake batter, cake frosting actually. Oh, that's sweet. Camille Rose does make some amazing smelling things. I don't smell the aloe. I just smell cake frosting. Apply to wet or dry hair to define your curls. Extra shine and elongation. Works great on two strand twists and braids. Cool. Now, of course, this product and the mask I just used are sulfate paraben silicone free. I want to say that all of the main choice and Camille Rose products are sulfate paraben silicone free, but I'm not positive, but a good majority of them are safe options. So now my hair is out the mask. It feels like 
kind of normal. I'm not really blown away by this mask. The consistency felt more like a leave-in than it did a hair mask. So I like the ingredients. I like what it's claiming to do. I like it. I'm not blown away. But now let's try this Camille Rose. This is thick. See, this is how I expected my mask to be. Oh yeah, very creamy. And I love this type of consistency. This is like my new favorite type of cream feeling. Oh, and it smells so good. I really want to eat this. I won't. I'm curious to see why this is considered a cream gel. Maybe it's going to dry with a nice cast. But right now, it's just a cream. I don't get any type of gel <laughs> vibes from this. Now, as I apply this, I have a very important question for you guys that I really hope you could help me out with. Now that I am transitioning into mommyhood, I do want to start doing more mom-related videos. I'm, now that we're getting closer to the baby getting here, I'm going to start getting more baby products from strollers to car seats to bottles to pacifiers, and I want to start reviewing them to help other moms and new moms figure out what you really need to be spending your money on. Like, I obviously don't like you guys spending a lot of money on products that don't work. That's why I try them first. Be your guinea pig so you don't have to. But I want to do the same thing for baby products. Now, ideally, I would love to just pick a new day for mommy videos and make a separate playlist for all those videos. But some of you guys get real cranky when I post things other than a curly hair video. So I don't want you guys to like unsubscribe to me because I'm not talking about my curls. So part of me feels like I should create a new channel. So Royce and I have been talking about creating our own separate family channel, which will have like family vlogs and, you know, mommy, parent, baby product reviews, all on that channel. It's kind of scary thinking about starting a whole new channel. I mean, I just hit 450,000 subscribers here on Beyond Coordinates Day. So I'm like, oh, starting from zero again? Like, that's kind of crazy. But I know it's not really starting from zero because I have you guys, I've established an audience. So hopefully you guys would come over and follow that channel as well. You would think people could just treat my channel like a network and you just tune in when you want to watch a certain type of show or video in this instance. But, you know, two weeks ago I posted a skincare video, then I posted a makeup video, and then I got comments like, did you just stop making hair videos? Where are the hair videos? It's like, I posted two non-curly hair videos. Calm down. I think we're leaning towards starting a new family vlog and parent kid toy review channel. Let me know what you guys think I should do. If you would subscribe to our new channel, give this video a thumbs up so I know that you're there to support me. All right, this product, like a little goes a long way. I definitely applied too much. Let me stand up so you guys can see the bump in action. <laughs> but I just squeezed out a lot of product. So don't use as much as I did. Extremely creamy, very moisturizing. All right, so here's how my hair looks now that it's got the styling product in there. It looks very shiny, very moisturized. We'll see how this dries, but I hope it does well because I love the smell of this product. I'm not going to be able to show you how it dries in this video because I'm going to a breastfeeding class tonight. It's three hours long. I don't know how we're going to talk about boobs for three hours, but it's free and at the hospital, so we're going to see what that's about because I know nothing about breastfeeding because this is my first time. But I will make sure to show my results and or talk about this product again on Instagram. So make sure you guys follow me at Ms. Bianca Renee because you guys get all the exclusives in my Instagram story. If you're not watching my story daily, you're missing out. But I hope you enjoyed this little chit chat mass day pregnancy update video for you guys. If so, make sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I post new videos every week trying really trying to still give you guys at least one video every week. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell so you're notified as soon as my video goes live. 
I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today.